What's going on, everybody? Welcome to part number four of Raft. Last time we hit that little radio, little village area up. This time we're heading to the next location. Gonna go ahead and click return to game. Actually, before I do that, I wanna point out, you might see my face now, which is really good because webcam and all, and you see all these cool little things I got going on in the background. As the year goes on, you're gonna see there's gonna be an exponential amount of new things added to not only this little shelving unit back here, but also all over the wall. I plan on covering my entire wall with a bunch of different gaming stuff. I wanna just make this feel more homey, make this office feel more enjoyable and things of that nature. So with all that being said, let's kick into the game. Um, so as you can see, we are heading to that location over there, which I actually have no idea where that is. That's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna have to raise the anchor first. All right, I um, uh, haven't played in about a week, so I'm trying to remember what, what I'm doing. All right, cool. So up the ladder we go. Now we're moving. Are we moving in the right direction? Sort of are. Let's uh, rotate this this way. Keep it like that for a second and then rotate. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. You know what? Let's just keep it right there for the time being. Where's my battery at? It's perfectly fine. Everything's okay. Sweet. So we're going to sleep, make it daytime, and then... We will continue onwards with our victory and all that good stuff. Uh, as you can see, we have a good amount of collection nets. I, I don't remember where we left off last time. I know that we did uh, just leave that little radio uh, area over there. Um, let's just see where we can go from here. So we're 1877. So nah, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do prior to getting to that a uh, little island or the next place. I believe it's the yacht. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the... That was weird. Uh, the socket. The, yep, that place. Um, I believe that's the yacht. Oh, I have this, some shark right there. Cool. Um, I don't actually remember what all I had and what all I need. Let's drink some water. Alright. So it's, there you go. One. I think one more. Sweet. All right, cool. So, um, I did notice in the last few episodes or the last few parts, whatever you want to call them, there was, it was quiet. So I'm trying to see if, um, me being a little bit louder does help as well as I did turn the volume up a little bit as well, uh, for the game volume. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We got some metal. Wait, what? Oh, I... Wait, didn't I already get those? Or did I accidentally grab them? What? I'm so confused. I thought I put those there. All right, anyway. um, Interesting. Cool. All right, so let's just continue onwards and see what happens from here. Um, I think that was all of the stuff I needed. I'm going to put these in here and then do that and then organize. So, yeah, you're going to see a jump skip here uh, to when we get to the next location. Uh, before I actually do that, um, we need to figure out what do I need to research to make the headlamp. Okay. Do I have enough material to make that? That is my question. I should. I do. Okay. So we need this, three scrap, and six plastic. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't ask, don't, don't, don't judge me, guys. I'm doing my best, okay? I hate that we have to research that, but it is what it is. So now we have a headlamp. So headlamp should be right here. Headlight. So we need scrap, rope, and a simple battery. So in the retrospective things, we're going to need the same material that we just used. No, we're not. Uh, yes, we are. I forgot that's not... Um, two, three, four, five, six. I forgot that's not a... One, two. Move that right there. See if that's actually... I think I should be able to make my simple battery. OK, 
Okay, do that. And then I need rope. And then that's all I need. Cool. So I can make, I need one. I need this one. So I can make my, my head light now. I'm not going to put it on because it will drain the battery. But alas, with all of that being said, let us fast travel. I'm going to rephrase that. We're not fast traveling. You're fast traveling. Um, let us fast travel to when I get to the next location. See you in a bit. All right, so we're just under 500 meters away now from the uh, the next location. As you can see, it's right there, kind of like off on our right. I guess like I don't really. It's it's weird how the directions in this game work, but I want to go ahead and bring it back, kind of get us ready for kind of what we're gonna have to do once we get there. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get some food in. I'm gonna get food. And I'm gonna cook the food. I uh, gotta make sure that I am well prepared for what we're going to run into because it's possible that we could run into some pretty uh some pretty hectic uh critters where we're going. Actually, yeah, no, I'm not even gonna try to say it's possible. If this is the place that I think it is, unless there's a second place between the first island and the yacht, which I don't think there is. There are little rat dudes on the yacht that are extremely annoying to deal with, but I have a metal spear completely full and this one that's kind of hurting a little bit. I have all this, all these resources here, which what I'll likely do um, is I'll let them gather up. I'll, I'll keep gathering the resources as best I can. Um, Oh. You see that off in the distance right there? I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah. So, what we'll do here is we will... Actually, I want to catch this. Yes. So, we'll head that way. I will continue catching fish until my fishing rod breaks. And then I will see what I can do in terms of food. Make sure I'm well stocked on everything I'll need food-wise. Because uh, this is not necessarily a long one. But it's not like... It's not short, I guess is the right way to say it. Um, that's raw beet. It's going to be down here. So you can see I have a decent amount of food here. And I've gotten a lot of resources in the time that it took me to get over here. Which is kind of aggravating. Not in terms of that I got a lot of resources. But just the fact that... Um, well, a little more... Too, much, too many resources to be able to manage. But we will, we will definitely continue working our way to... Uh, to expanding out our little chest region here um i have an idea for what i want to do but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep these here for the time being as you can see i have my day survive 18 right there um i have an idea that i want to expand up here even further and then just create a wall of storage storage containers and i put one right here this will be for uh whenever my batteries die uh you know restock my batteries and everything uh, for this as well as any other gear that I have. Um, the reason for that is because I want to make sure... I'm going to put this up because I don't want that. Uh, and I'm also going to put this up because I don't necessarily need that while I'm here. Um, I'm actually going to clear out a little bit of this inventory space. Um, I was saying something. <laughs> that's, how bad, that's how bad my memory is, guys. No, I... Um, I'm going to, I want to make more, uh, storage up here to kind of keep it out of the way, but I will be doing a little more of an organizational thing where I'm going to actually put walls up and they're only going to be of that one material. So I'll have like what I'll expand it out this way and this way a little bit. So in reality, I could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 walls here. That'll be completely covered in storage. Just, like I said, not doesn't could be longer, could be shorter, really depends. 
Okay. Um, but you know, I think drop that to shit. Uh, I want to have it so that it's uh, everything's labeled too, because labeling and forgetting which uh, which chest hosts what thing is, is kind of the death of me in most of these playthroughs where like I'll be sitting there trying to figure out which chest I put something in uh, in those chests it's a little bit easier for me because I know I, I know where everything is just I, I do look in the wrong chest here and there but for the most part I know where everything is Wow, that was kind of really quick. All right, cool. So I got one more fish, and it was a small fish. Dang it. I was hoping for another larger fish. Um, throw my leaf in here, plastic in here. Yeah. And we're coming up on the location. So we're going to throw this in here and this i did create a sweep net sweep net will be very useful uh for actually i'm going to keep the paddle and i'm actually going to help paddle over to the boat or the yacht um the sweep net will be very useful in a future island uh future location because it'll allow us to catch bees and bees will be good for honey which will be useful for a lot of variety of things but mainly recipes and things of that nature but we're here at the yacht. So this is the yacht I was talking about uh, earlier in this episode. It's there's a lot of there's a lot to it, but it's not that difficult to run through. And with me having these metal spears rather than uh, regular spears, or I don't even know, can you make stone spears? I don't even think you you might be able to make stone spears. I've never made a stone spear, but these metal spears will be a lot more useful. Uh, just in general because it'll allow us to kill these little rats quicker so let us get to this i don't know if there is a i can't remember if there's a is there I'm trying to think if there's a playable character unlocked in this location um i don't know where like if there are blueprints in this location either Goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright, so before we go, we're going to need to eat. Um, drink water. Get ourselves completely full on everything. Oops, did not mean to do that. Specifically because, I mean, we're going to be in there for a little bit. Okay. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have one large one. Multiple small doohickeys. Uh, I'm going to run upstairs. Do, 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 do. I'm going to drop the paddle and the hammer off in here. Uh, I have a bow at half health with 30 arrows. Another metal spear right there. Don't think I need my hook, but I'm going to bring that one just in case. And that's the salmon right there. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and head out to the island. And then when we come back, we will... I don't want to get attacked by the shark, dude. Can I actually make it in that way? I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go this way. Because I don't think the shark can come over here. I don't think the shark's able to go through the land like that. Um, we could potentially... Oh, mechanical part. Just what we need. So, mechanical parts. So, I'm going to back... I'm going to I'm gonna get completely thrown around here with all my... Uh, conversations and everything. I just I just saw something. Oh, that was a tiny clam. Okay. Um, the mechanical parts are going to be useful for one of the uh, sections. And once we get there, I will sh kind of show you. But I'm I was watching through and editing the last little sections of the last three parts. And I didn't really like the way that I was kind of trying to guide everybody or guide anybody who hasn't played this game uh, through the game itself. So I'm just going to play. And if I feel the need to explain something, I will. But let us...
put on my head mounted lamp and head on in. So here's the yacht. Now there are a lot of things to do here, but we're going to I could have put that plastic cup away. I'm not going to collect all this scrap metal right now. Um, if I have a feeling that we'll need it later, I just don't want to uh, fill up my inventory too quick. I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. You knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? All right. So the crowbar we used. I think there's. I don't think there's any more mechanical parts in here. Just want to check to make sure. No. Okay. Good. Uh, um, it's a scrap. All right. Cool. So we can move onward. I want to try to get as much. Uh, I hate these things because I can never hit them. Okay, cool. So we are going to collect their uh, meat and everything because I don't think they really have any... Um, I don't know how their spawn time is, to be honest with you. I know they do respawn after a certain amount of time, so we do need the bolt cutter. So this is one thing I, that the yacht always can like kind of annoyed me with was the back and forth that you have to do in this. But it is what it is. Uh, let's just continue onwards. We will find the bolt cutter soon. We'll just have to keep, you know, keep a positive mindset here. Fire blue key. See what I mean? Come on. Come on, damn it. And there's a red key. Can't open any of those. No bolt cutters. I don't see anything. No bolt cutters. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wish that you could, like, turn your headlamp on, off, on and off, off and on. Okay. Ruben, Another note. The yacht is ill-prepared for this journey. All have left space for a dance floor, but no space for supplies. The bottles sure found their way to the bar. As a military man, I thought Olaf would at the very least be practical. Yet they're all treating it like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. The mechanical part? I shouldn't have left. Bolt cutters. So, requires five mechanical parts, and then that's where we make the bomb. So, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of scrap here. So, this is a location that... Another note, actually, before I continue with my conversation, with my thoughts. large. I tried telling the crew we obviously have an infestation among the lockdown supplies. Yes, yes. They laughed at me. Oh, they did, didn't they? Kind of rude. I miss you, Ruben. So, there's a lot of scrap here, so it definitely doesn't hurt that if you, uh, um, if you run into, like, a deficit on scrap, that you can always come back here. And you can always come back to these locations. I don't think this location, anything will change. Keeps complaining about my writ. If he does it again, he will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow, they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land? No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests. And they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. I am the only reason they are alive. He sounds really nice, doesn't he, guys? I'm trying to be quick through this. I thought that was a note, but that's not. Okay. I'm keeping my eye open and ear open for, um, for rats. Because those dudes will scare the living mess out of me. I think there's one over here. But this this place takes a lot of, um, like, it's a lot of back and forth thing. If that makes sense, like you'll you'll go one place, and then you'll find the thing that you have to get for another place. What Look. does that mean? You can't just fire them. We're out at sea. Hanna, you were There's brought one in here. to keep Guaranteed. the engines running. That is what you. There wasn't one here. Jk. That's one That's of those terrifying. damn rats. Terrifying. <laughs> what? What are you doing to it? Get out! Do your job. 
Come here, ratty ratty. How did I miss? Hit it that time. What? There we go. So the metal spear absolutely comes in clutch. Did I not get it off? Oh, I didn't. Oh, because it, it's like... There we go. Uh, requires one four-digit code. So we're about to run out of our... Um, what's it called? The uh, uh, first metal spear. There's the third mechanical part. A bunch of scrap. Okay. Or a bunch of material, I should say. That includes a hinge, which... Hinge is going to be very useful. Alright, we're about half done with this first headlamp. So, okay. Now we have to go find a four-digit code as well as some other things. So we're going to go upstairs now. Actually, I think there's a couple places down here I haven't explored just yet. No, that's the... Okay. We're going to go there later. We're going to go upstairs now. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect this. Let's go ahead and collect this bad boy. Good you? So, like I said, those guys will respawn. So just be mindful. Let's unlock this. Because all of these are, like, locked from the uh, other side. I'm going to go ahead and eat and drink some. Because there's going to be some rats over here. Requires one key card. going to be a rat right here. Watch. There's not a rat right here. Huh. I guess they spawn in completely different locations. Interesting. Uh, pick up crate. Oh, that gives me some food. Cool. I'm always down for some foodie food, food, food. These lurkers have potential. They were clearly once rats. Now grown into something <laughs> much more rabid. Well, they are still technically so rats. Smarter. If you think about it. I've already made progress on their training. With food please don't, please haven't responded yet. Incentives, I can discipline them. And by sharing their blood, the cool. mutations increase. Ooh, that is terrible. I wonder if another species would react the same. I think it's I've received a transmission way? from a place called Caravan Town, not far from here. Caravan. They have an active okay. animal population. No longer do I need this makeshift crew. Okay. I will create... True soldiers, loyal hey, what's soldiers. I can never remember where I'm at. <laughs> it is this way though. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a rat inside of the room that has the thing. Now watch. Told you. I don't know how it got there. I was literally just here. Pick up. Okay. And that's going to give me the uh, electrical it's wires it's and another tape. There's Sweet. Now. We don't know how far the water's risen. The maps Shh. are useless. We need to... The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain. Cool. It is time to act. A mutiny? They're just mutiny? trying to stay alive. I... Are you mad? I gave you a chance to live. Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. We will use the lurkers to our advantage. These things crack me up, though, how they spawn. Excuse me? Please tell me it was this one that was making those weird noises. Because I don't think I've ever heard one of them actually, like, sound like that before. That was kind of creepy. Key card. All right. So that's going to be the one downstairs. So right here, we are going to need to build a um, forklift. Not a forklift. A um, car jack. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, yes, yes. See, we're making great progress now, team. Now let's head down. We're going to go back to that room that required the 
How did you already respawn? Like, how did you already respawn? Like, the respawn rates of, in, of these little rats are kind of annoying. Green key. Alright. I think the green key's... Where's the green key? I don't know where the green key goes. Let's just leave them dead. Let's not collect any them anymore. Maybe downstairs? Was it down here? Was it down here? Was it... Let's look down here. I don't remember if this was blue or green. Going down here, right? I don't remember. So no, it's not this way. Hmm. That's, I think, that, that last room over there is the room that we have to use to uh, build the bomb. And then there's something else we build with that, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember what it is. Don't think it's over here. So maybe it was up here to the left. No, nope, that was the... It's the downstairs over here. As I've suspected, the crew is completely... Hmm. There's the now rat. Claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised them increased rations if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Huh. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for termination. Old dude and his squad's about to straight up eat the freaking other members of the boat. That's insane. It's right here. Actually, up and then around, maybe? I don't actually remember where I'm supposed to be going. Like, I've played this a couple times, but I don't actually ever remember... Because I know the bomb goes up here. Or wait. Hey! Green card. Obviously, there is going to be a rat in here. I hate this so much. There we go. Ugh. And this is the... What was that? The ship's whole... Gra oh. Hurry! Wolof! You coward! Watch out! So what all do we have now? I think we have everything we need to make the bomb. Or maybe we're missing one thing. I don't remember. I have all five mechanical parts too, right? So let's go back down to the very bottom and see if we can make the bomb. And also see if we can make that whatever. He didn't see me. It's fine. Oops, wrong one. Cool. Alright, we'll just keep heading down. Keep heading down. It is fine. Stairs is right here. Where did you come from? Cool. I don't remember hit. He wasn't down here. Now I have a feeling this wasn't the right place. Was it in here? I have a feeling that I'm going to have to make one of these and then get the last part and then make... Yep. Okay. I have to go back up to that place that had the uh, the box in front of the door. And then I have to come back down here to create the um, bomb. Goodness gracious. Okay. I need to remember to make another... 
water bottle for situations like this so I don't have to go back to the raft anytime soon. I don't think I will have to. Alright, so now we go back up. I think it's only up. I think it's only up one. I think it's right here. Nope, it's up one more. You're making good time, though. Yep, it's right there. But this dude right here. Oh, of course you hit me. Okay. So now we're going to let the carjack do its thing. Okay. Cool. Cities in the blue. Calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least. Despite vocal opposition, the Floating Cities project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to former General Olaf Wilkstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the strain this puts on our people. Nevertheless, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. I'm so confused. Wilkstrom refused to comment on the rumors regarding so the modification of his personal yacht. When further asked about the floating what? city project's whistleblowers, Olaf Wilkstrom chose to terminate the interview. Reaching out so to these anonymous sources, we were able to something? further corroborate his story. Need a bullet. Where are the bullets? I think I missed something somewhere. Huh. I missed something somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. Uh oh. I'm missing bullets. Because I mean, there's nothing else in there. Maybe do you, you don't actually have to do the carjack thing, do you? But this is basically where the carjack, where, where the carjack leads you, in this little location here. And there's a couple of different things. I mean, there's a couple of things you can get here, but nothing too crazy. So let's relook around, see if we can find out where that last thing is. I don't know where this goes. Oh yeah, it goes back down here. We'll just keep looking around and see if we can find it because I had to have left I had I had to have missed it somewhere. This had a couple of things in it, but it didn't have anything that was useful to me. Um Well, I don't think there's anything up out there. Crap. This is this is what I was afraid of happening where I would accidentally like miss something. But it's okay. I believe in us. And by us I mean I believe that I'll be able to figure out what I missed. It's probably in one of if not one of these rooms. It might be in one of the ones that I did unlock. Because I think I remember seeing some bullets somewhere, but I, it didn't let me grab them. So I assume it's just... Uh, I don't know. Do I actually need bullets? I don't actually know what I need. I think bullets. I think I saw bullets on the on the thing, right? Am I going crazy? Don't answer that. Please don't answer that. <laughs> Slightly going crazy. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Can't open any of those. Okay. Already opened that. Grabbed everything out of it. Okay. This metal spear is already almost dead. So... Um, what dropped? What, what could I not pick up? Coconut and leftovers. I don't really care about that stuff. I have a really sick mango, mango on a thing. Oh, crap. How is this spear almost dead, too? That's insane. So I think I know where I need to look. Um, I did end up looking it up online. Don't judge me. I don't have any water. That's right. And I'm no spear. 
very little Oof. should be fine did I go the wrong way did I did I miss the stairs oh, the stairs are this way okay Whew. I think it's gonna be up here up here Whatever. And I think I'm going to have to go up here. And then... I don't think it's over here. No. So it's going to be on the other side. Okay. So maybe up one more flight, one more set of stairs, maybe. My headlamp's almost dead too. Okay, so don't think it's going to be over here. No, it's not right there. Bar by the pool. Which way is the pool? The pool is out here. I had to look it up. So it's bar by the pool. So I think it's below me. That's the helo pad. Is it? It's an indoor pool, maybe? Is it? Whooshing of the feet sees. Kind of aggravating. Where is the pool on this level? No, pool's not on this level. Maybe it's down one more and it's in that. I don't I don't I don't know where the pool is at. I'm trying so hard to remember where things are at. Ah, of course that would hit me. How am I doing on arrows? I got 21 still. Okay. We're just gonna keep looking, lads, and hope for the best. So nothing right there. Uh, got stuck. Sweet. Okay. So, I guess this is the pool? No, that's not the pool. I see it. I don't... I thought I grabbed those. I'm so... I'm really surprised I missed those. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really surprised I missed those. Oh, God. Now I'm completely in the dark. <laughs> Holy moly, I cannot see a thing. I'm going to build this and I'm going to go back to the raft. Okay, I'm going to go back to the raft and I'm going to get water and another spear. And then I'm going to make another one of these because... Ain't no way I'm going to be able to find my way through. This is crazy how arc it is in here which i can understand i mean i'm in the technically i'm in the uh um what's it called the uh the basement end i guess Do not know where he came from. <laughs> and it also doesn't help that it's nighttime. So, that's a thing. So, here we go. Cool. So, let us go here now. Get us some water so that we don't start 
coughing and dying and stuff. Because boy, oh boy. I don't know where the shark is at. And I'm trying to avoid at all costs. So, I mean, we have enough metal to be able to make um, another spear. We have enough copper and resources to make more headlights. So yeah, I think we should be good. And of course it's becoming daytime. That just, and then there we go. Now we are struggling with thirst. I have no idea where the, there is a shark. <laughs> Boom, see that? Looky there. I'm gonna let him take that and then hope for the best. I don't know how I killed him. <laughs> that was quite impressive, actually. Um, so we're going to just cook this real quick. Eat some food. Uh, move this right there. We can eat some fish. Okay. Do this. Uh, let's go ahead and move all this stuff in here. Which I don't think I have anything in there. That uh, Right there. Right there. You go right there. I need that. Let me go in here. Throw my beets. And then I have this meat now. Um, and I also have this new wrist. This new wrist. And this biofuel stuff. Which I'm actually very surprised I got. I'm not going to lie. I'm very surprised I got that. Because that's, that's, that's kind of in, that's, it's kind of a pretty big deal for once we get the bioreactor. Cool. So we got a candlestick. Wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Um, what do we need to make the headlight first? Scrap rope and that. So one, two. Need two scrap. One, two. And then the simple battery. We just need the ingot. So that. Create. So we're going to. Go back here now. Create. Move that right there. And now what do we need to make our metal spear? Two more rope. One, two. Metal ingots, which I need two metal ingots apparently. And six planks. Cool. So now we have everything we need. Cool. And then we can grab some more planks. Need more, of course. Cool. Grab those, let that finish up, and then I'm gonna eat this other potato. I just remember I just realized I was uh running that entire time. Go ahead and move my salmon down. Yish. And then I'm going to take a bite out of the salmon. Take another bite. And then that should get me where I need to be. Now we're going to head our way back into here. We have all we have the bomb now, which means now all we got to do is go up. Which actually... I already unlocked those doors, so I should be able to go this way now. We're going to try this first. We already killed the shark. And the, which I'm actually really surprised I, get, I got that hit. I'm not going to lie. I thought I missed that. I really hope this works. Sweet. Okay, cool. Which is good because then we get more materials. A bunch of freaking planks and hinge. Heck yes. Always what I wanted. Alright, so we're just going to run through. We have a metal spear now, so... Jeez. I'm missing all of these hits. Oh, wait, I need to... There we go. All the way up.
Cool. Okay. A little weird. What? How, did, how is he hitting that? Okay, that was weird. That was really strange. We're going to grab this meat. If it'll let me. Thank you. Normally there's one or two in here. Alright, so blueprint. This is what we needed. The steering wheel. Because I'm getting tired of having to adjust my sail. This is a big one. The engine. Heck yes. Pick up this. And when we push T, we now have the Baboa Islands. We got a note. We do not have a note. thought we had a note. Alright. Uh, no notes. Surprisingly, there are no notes in here. Hello? Game? I thought there were notes. I really thought there were notes. That's fine. All right, cool. So we got everything we needed there. So now we can head out. The shark is still D-E-D -E -D dead. Our raft is right here, which means now we can just whoop, jump on down. The shark is despawned. So that took us five minutes. Cool. Cool. So that's good. That's good. Now I can take this off and I can save that for another time, I guess. Um... Coconut go right there. Watermelon go right there. I'm sorry that I scared you off, Seagull. I actually think I want to move that. Uh, move the location of that. Um, I'm going to throw my blueprints in here. Throw this in here. I have another one of those. Boom. Leftover. This. This. Now we can cook this meat. Cool. So let's go up here and let's plop this uh this these coordinates in. It's gonna be twenty six ninety seven. All right. So boop twenty six ninety seven, and that is gonna be off in that direction at eighteen hundred meters. So. Research table. Yes. <laughs> Steering wheel. Rope, metal ingot, and scrap. We have all of that. So we just need four metal ingots. This is, this is hurting right here. Two of these bad boys. Which we don't need those because we have these. Great. Grab these out so I can put those right there. Um, so we have this this we need what 10 scrap that okay and then we need four rope one two three four all right cool cool, cool. now we can do this this boom obviously the next big step is to create an engine and that engine will allow us to move forward. Now, the cool thing about the engine is that we can still use the sail with it, but it's not going to do much. Um, so I guess the next thing, the next plan I have here is what I'm, I think the the best case, I need to move the ladder. <laughs> I just realized that I'm going to need to move the ladder. Um, the next best case is to... Um, Where can I put the ladder? Right here, maybe? That should be good. That is... Need nails? For a ladder? That's right, scrap. And then one more plank. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I can't put that right there. Uh, I can put it right here. Is it the right way? Yeah, okay. Put it right here, cool. So, the next best thing that I'm going to do that is going to really help out in the long term, mostly not just the long term, but mostly just like the, uh, 
I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. The, the next thing I'm going to do, um, probably during the next video, while we are heading to Balboa, I'm going to build this out a little more and I'm going to put the walls with the more storage crates on it. Cause I mean, we have a ways to go before we actually get, Oh, I need to, I'm so glad I looked at that and saw the, the shark being a shark right next to this, uh, dead position right here. Um, but yeah, the next thing obviously is to build out the walls so that we can, uh, on that story up here, build them out, build them up and then put more storage crates and then organize, organize, organize. I'm going to make it look a lot better. Um, and I want to do that while I am streaming or not streaming while I'm uh, recording just so that I have that. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to maintain some type of like, Hey, here's content for you guys. So I think it looks good like right now, but I can make it look better. Um, but with all that being said, this is a longer video because I knew the yacht would take a while to get through. So I appreciate it. If you stuck through the entire thing, I really do. I know that it was probably tedious to watch me run around in circles. You're probably screaming at the screen. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful. I really am. With that being said, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't as well, subscribe to the channel. We're still aiming for that 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We're slowly but surely making it. Um, I didn't do the math, which actually I can do the math right now. Watch this. That is 41.6666666666 with a little line above it. That's 42 subscribers a month, basically. Um, if we're able to do that, I'll be so grateful. I have some plans. Um, I have a couple things planned out. One, keep watching the series because throughout the series, I'm going to expand upon something that I talked about in the first video. I'm going to keep track of all the deaths that I have in the game. And however many deaths I have, something special is going to happen at the very end of the series when we beat the story. Um, and if we don't have any deaths, then I'll explain my what I'm going to do anyway. Um, on top of that, if we hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, regardless if it is before or the day of the end of the year, December 31st, I am going to do something special as well. Just keep watching the channel. Keep showing the support that you guys have continued to show throughout the years of me doing content. I'm going to do my best to maintain and keep pushing out stuff to you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I'm really enjoying this game and I really want to be able to continue kind of moving forward. Uh, I have a lot of stuff going on between work, school, as well as other prior uh, engagements that I have to focus on as well. But I am going to continue to be the best that I can uh, to continue creating content because I, I really want to to just be able to do more like this. Because, I mean, I don't know. And also, I did post about it on Twitter. I do have a plan on February 10th, every Saturday, because I think February 10th is a... Uh, February 10th to Friday. So starting February 11th, every single Saturday, I will be uploading a third video every week. So I'll be uploading Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, but every single Saturday, starting February 11th, I will be uploading Hogwarts Legacy content uh, up until I beat the story and depends on after that. But again, we're hoping to have Raft beat by February 23rd. Um, that week after February 23rd or the week that we beat Raft, I will continue. If we beat Raft prior to that, I will continue playing Raft up until Sons of the Forest releases because that's the next series that we are going to do on the channel and I'm super excited for it. I loved the forest. It was a great game. Loved playing it in VR. Loved the, both aspects of the story. Um, but hopefully Sons of the Forest brings that back. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much again. Remember, my name is Josh EGG, and I appreciate you guys more than you know. I'll see you later.